Alrighty, so I pray this be a blessing, and hopefully you can learn something from all this. In this whole process, uh, there's two books. I picked one, they look like they're basically both the same books. And they were in the basement of an old house. Uh, my Uncle Jay, and Jay actually means victory, so, okay. And in it, he's telling me to open to a certain page. And to learn about programming. I'm like, okay, so I am eventually turn to that page, and the page is not there. So I give him back the book, and I believe he was going to go get the other book or whatever uh, to be able to learn to program. All right, cool. So then this other person's kind of like coming along. And it seems somewhat of a younger person, I guess. And he's like talking about uh, milk and how and mixing things and like how certain things can actually mix with the milk and to help build my YouTube channel, I guess. And right off the bat, well, we know the milk is like the very basics of Christianity, but then he's in a sense, talk about mixing it with other stuff. And I think that's one of those things that I think God was kind of showing me through this dream, that the way that some YouTubers have grown their channel is with the milk of the Word of God plus other stuff, plus mixing other stuff with it. All right, and that is not the route I wanted to go. Then he's kind of like doing something and causes something to happen. And it's like, he's just like, no, that's not, that's not right. Like, I don't want nothing to do with this person kind of deal almost. And then he's kind of, he's talking about like, oh, if you don't have anger, you're not going to be able to build your channel. And so then he's it kind of like, if, if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to build, you're not going to have a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, the other thing he says, you're too kind. And I'm like, I'd rather be kind and not have a YouTube channel than be angry like you and have a YouTube channel. So, I think I was kind of showing me like there are people that have tried to build their YouTube channel in a sense off of righteous anger. That's not really a righteous anger, but anger about this or mad about that or mad about what this person's done or that person's done. And that's just not me. You know, I don't want to. I didn't want to be angry like that person. And as I'm going up, I basically hit him or bump him, my, use my shoulder or my authority, if you will. Um, and he's like, hits back and he's trying to, but something stops him. And I turn back and he's like, has a knife in his hand. Like he wants to stab me, but he can't. And I'm like, just as the dreams ending, I was like, the only thing I can think of is just grabbing his hand that has the knife in it and saying, like, you do not know who you are messing with kind of deal. And I was basically getting angry at that person. I don't know who that person was. Is kind of a young boy, I guess. I don't know. But, um, anyways, so I think a lot of times people try to build their YouTube channel off of different methods, and God was just kind of showing me, is like, that's not the way to have victory, all right? God was kind of showing me, is like, there's two methods that sometimes Christians use to build their YouTube channel, is one... They use the milk of the word of God plus something else. And then there's the other aspect of 
they build their YouTube channel, but it's out of anger. Or, like, oh, this is what this person's done. Like, oh, oh. Or that person, urgh. Like, no. And I'm not saying there isn't righteous anger with the, with certain things, but that's not, not me. <laughs> He's saying I was too kind uh, to be able to have a YouTube channel. Like, uh, well, hey, I'd rather be kind and share the full word of God. And if my channel stays small, it stays small. But to those that wish to hear the words that the Lord has given me and preach, well, blessing to you. Anyways, God bless. And hopefully this is a blessing. And maybe you kind of look at some of the other YouTubers you watch. And do they add anger with their message of the gospel? Or do they add just preach the milk? plus mixing it in with other stuff. So that's just something for you guys to watch out for. God bless you. Bye.